Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about EVS drive and the resistor. That is EAR protocol. This is a type of MAC protocol in wireless sensor network. This topic is present in the subject ad hoc card wireless sensor network. EVS drop and the register EAR protocol. EAR protocol provides connection between sensor nodes and a mobile and static conditions. The mobile nodes can be used with the statistically deployed sensor nodes to establish connections. Static nodes. The static nodes are distributed randomly. Here is a representation of a wireless sensor network. That consists of a static sensor nodes that are deployed a random manner. The static nodes cannot able to discover the location of other static nodes and initially enters into searching phase to invoke other static nodes to enter into the sensor network. For doing this, the sensor node uses polling signals. The static nodes operated on slotted TDMA frame format. Mobile sensor nodes. The mobile sensor nodes monitor the channel to find the searching messages in order to invoke EAR protocol. The mobile sensor nodes are used to continuously monitor the static nodes and originate handshaking seams. When required, the mobile sensor nodes are mainly used to evade drop and the control signals. The neighbor's information also maintained by mobile sensor nodes. The mobile sensor nodes have control over connections. The established connection may disconnect when the mobile sensor node moves away. Mobile sensor node representation is shown below. Operation of EAR protocol. The mobile sensor nodes maintain a registry to keep a record of its neighboring nodes. The radio channel can also be controlled by mobile sensor nodes. The information about my neighboring nodes can be obtained from the pilot signals received from static nodes. Based on the information available in the registry, the mobile sensor nodes form connection with static nodes. The static nodes will receive information from mobile sensor nodes and provide a response accordingly. The radio channel can be changed to any one of the following modes. May be a receiving mode or a transmitting mode or an idle mode. In these three modes, the radio channel active. Here is the representation. EAR protocol uses four messages for establishing communication between mobile and static sensor nodes that are listed below as. Broadcast invitation, mobile invite, mobile response, and mobile disconnect. The first message is broadcast invitation. Static node sends this broadcast invitation to invite other sensor nodes to join in the network. The next message is mobile invite. The mobile node sends mobile invite message as a response message to the broadcast invitation message to request a connection. Mobile response. The stationary node accepts the mobile invite message for establishing a connection or declines the message without accepting connection establishment. Both messages mobile disconnect message. 
the mobile node sends a mobile disconnect message to inform the stationary node about disconnection ear protocol uses the following three phases the first phase is registration phase the second phase is connection phase and the third phase is disconnection phase let us see these three phases one by one registration phase in registration phase the mobile sensor node collects broadcast invitation message from static nodes and make an entry in the registry after receiving a new broadcast invitation message from a static sensor node the old entry will be replaced with the new entry in the registry followed by the registration phase the connection phase starts the mobile sensor node looks up the registry whenever a connection required by a sensor node it selects best connection from the registry based on the received signal strength once the connection is established between mobile and the static nodes a new connection cannot be established until the existing connection fails the mobile node sends a mobile invite message to request a connection along with the set of possible channels for communication on receipt of the mobile invite message the static node registers the mobile node if the connection is possible the static node will respond by sending mobile response message with the details of selected channel if the static node is not willing to connect then it will not respond for the mobile invite message the third phase is disconnection phase the connection can be disconnected based on two reasons the first one may happen when the static node fails to send data or broadcast invitation messages the second reason is that if the signal to noise ratio falls below the threshold level then disconnection will occur in both the cases the mobile sensor node initiates mobile disconnect message and send to static node to inform the disconnection thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends thank you